We are Iowa's most accurate forecast. Ah, oh, huge day. Gnarly day. It's the dew tour, my friends, and it's That's happening. That's like surfboard language, or surfing language. Sidewalk surfing. I just feel like I want to just rip that alley right there and do some can can right here on the flip. sidewalk. Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think I think that's frowned upon, but the fans are out. The weather has cooperated for the pros who are trying to qualify for a spot on yeah. the Olympics, which will be a new event this year yeah. in Tokyo. So kudos to you. Not too bad out there and people are out there enjoying today. It's a little muggy, but we're happy to have this event here in our city. It's exciting. We'll keep an eye on the forecast for that. You know, we've had a lot of rain. <laughs> See that kick flip? I'm not going to do that. <laughs> We've had some really <laughs> dreary weather and a lot of rainy weather, right? But uh, it really hasn't helped us as much as we had hoped. We get our drought updates each and every Thursday, by the way. And this is the latest drought map around our state. We still have some of that moderate drought to the north and to the east of the Des Moines area. And so when you compare that to last week, if you look really closely, the maps are exactly the same. I went through, I looked at the percentages of the drought. They are exactly the same. So no change, which is unfortunate. Even though we've had some rain, it really hasn't been quite enough to make a dent in our drought. We had since midnight today about a quarter of an inch in Des Moines, which is better than nothing. We had close to two tenths in Creston and Ames. So We'll take any rainfall we can get, even though it's been a really dreary stretch of weather. We could use a little bit of that sunshine to lift our spirits, too. It's trying to break out there west and southwest of Des Moines. A couple of showers working into southeast Iowa, but no substantial rain on the radar. So it might spit a little bit as we head through the afternoon. There could be some sprinkles. It'll be later today when we watch for a better chance of storms, which we'll keep an eye on for the dew tour there in downtown Des Moines. By 4 o'clock, that's when I'll keep my eyes peeled for some some thunderstorm action. I don't think it'll be a ton right off the bat. It'll become a little bit more widespread closer to dinner time and early evening. And by the way, with any storms that do develop, we have a low end severe weather risk. It's a level one out of five, but there is a chance if we get enough unstable air that we could see some one inch hail, some wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour. And believe it or not, the risk is low, but we could see a brief spin up tornado. I think the greatest threat of that would be across southern Iowa. I I call this a conditional threat, which means everything's got to be just right for it to happen, but we'll keep our eyes peeled nonetheless and want you to stay weather aware out there. Highs will get to the mid 70s across northern Iowa today. Mid 70s expected across central Iowa as well. 76 to 77 here in Des Moines, low to mid 70s across the south. So the future cast shows that pretty well. By 4 o'clock, showers, thunderstorms, they'll be scattered in nature, develop along and south of I 80, and then they become a little bit more widespread through the evening. So by 7 o'clock across central and north central Iowa, we will keep an eye on that for the dew tour later this evening in Des Moines. We will see some showers and a few rumbles of thunder overnight and then it'll be lingering into early tomorrow morning. But here's the plus side as we head through Friday, we may get a couple of showers Friday afternoon, but then it'll start to clear out. We dry out a little bit heading into the weekend. Now this is all dependent on where those thunderstorms set up, but we could, if we are lucky, get an additional half to three quarters of an inch of rain. It's a tough thing because the events don't want the rain, but our yards, the drought, we still want it for that reason, right? On Saturday, it looks warm and muggy. We may have a few isolated downpours on Saturday, but the rain chance is somewhat low, 84. Sunday, most of the storms or rain showers will be in northern Iowa. Again, we expect that high to be at 84. Here's our 10-day forecast. It's sponsored by Holt Plumbing and Heating. We are really going to crank those temperatures up by a few more degrees over the next several days. It'll be muggy over the weekend. And then next week, not too shabby. May rain a little bit at the start of the week but get better by Wednesday. Don't go anywhere. There are more headlines coming up after this break on Midday.